For years, there's been a problem that has continually persisted for content creators. Their means of distribution have largely been controlled by a few companies. Those wishing to publish pictures, videos, and more, typically must do so through companies such as Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. Not only do these companies have the ability to decide what can and cannot be published, but for monetized platforms such as YouTube, they are paid a cut of the revenue that is generated from the content. Seeking to cut out the middleman, Tron was developed to give the power back to content creators. And in today's video, we're breaking down everything you need to know about this unique project. Welcome to Crypto Sketch 101. We're the number one go-to spot for all things crypto, and we're glad you've stopped by. If you love cryptos as much as we do, please give this video a like, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we're diving deep into Tron. We'll examine everything you need to know about this exciting project including its founding, some of its unique features and advantages, and we'll even take a look at a few controversies. There's a lot to cover, so let's get into it. Looking to give the power back to content creators, Tron was created in 2017 by Chinese entrepreneur Justin Sun. It was originally created on the Ethereum blockchain before being moved to its own chain in 2018. Like Ethereum, the Tron network supports decentralized applications and smart contracts. Tronix is the native token of the Tron network and is used to power transactions and support the rest of the Tron ecosystem. Unlike centralized applications such as Facebook and YouTube, Tron is a decentralized network that allows content creators to sell their work directly to consumers in a peer-to-peer -peer network environment. Content is wholly owned by its creators and is free from censorship and the fees associated with intermediaries. For their content and efforts, creators are rewarded with Tronix tokens. In recent years, Tron has become increasingly more popular. It has supported over 100 million users and upwards of 3.5 billion transactions. It consistently ranks as one of the top 20 cryptos, as measured in market cap by CoinMarketCap.com, and at its height, saw its market cap top out over $14.5 billion. There are a number of features and advantages that have helped to power Tron's popularity. Having originally derived from Ethereum, like Ethereum, Tron supports decentralized applications and smart contracts. Future plans include support for games as well. Developers and creators can even create their own tokens, supported by the Tronix token, which can be used in their own applications. A key differentiator between Ethereum and Tron however, is network speed. Addressing a problem that has plagued the crypto space since the creation of Bitcoin back in 2009, Tron was built with speed in mind. Whereas Bitcoin can typically only process between 5 and 7 transactions per second, and Ethereum only processing around 15, Tron can process around 2,000 transactions per second. It is worth mentioning however that Ethereum is currently undergoing a number of upgrades to help improve its speed. Ethereum will soon be able to support 2 to 3,000 transactions per second, and eventually expects to be able to handle hundreds of thousands of transactions per second once final upgrades have been made. One area that Ethereum has not been able to compete in however is fees. While average transaction fees for Ethereum tend to fluctuate, in times of heightened activity, they can become incredibly expensive. Tron however, has zero transaction fees. A remarkable feat considering that Tron can support up to 2,000 of these fee-less transactions per second. Tron also features a delegated proof-of-stake consensus protocol. In this system, individuals vote for others to become nodes. In Tron's case, these are known as super representatives. Tron features 27 super representatives who are entrusted to validate transactions, create new blocks, and maintain the system's history. Super representatives are chosen every six hours and those who produce valid blocks are rewarded with 32 Neutronix tokens. Additionally, users can operate three different types of nodes on the Tron blockchain. Witness nodes have the ability to vote on new decisions that can make changes to the protocol while full nodes broadcast transactions and blocks. The third node, Solidity nodes, provide application programming interfaces, or APIs, and sync blocks from full nodes. Tron's blockchain architecture was created using Google's Protocol Buffers system. Known as Protobuf for short, the Protocol Buffers system was designed to help facilitate quick and effective communication between platforms and systems. 
As such, Tron's blockchain was structured as a three-layer system, each of which is designed and optimized for a specific set of functions. The first of these, known as the core layer, performs tasks that are essential to Tron's protocol. Tron's delegated proof-of-stake consensus protocol, for instance, takes place on this layer. The core layer also handles the management of smart contracts that power the system. Tron's blockchain ecosystem uses Solidity as the foundational smart contract programming language. Solidity is Ethereum's programming language and was specifically chosen due to its familiarity with developers and its proficiency in creating smart contracts and decentralized applications. The second layer, known as the application layer, has its own built-in smart contract system and was designed to help programmers effectively engage with the Tron ecosystem. It is used by developers to build wallets and applications that are powered by the Tronix token. The last layer, Tron Storage layer, is designed to manage Tron storage needs. It manages Tron state data, which is the data used to preserve the status of smart contracts and segment blockchain data, or the record of the blockchain's history. In July of 2018, Tron purchased one of the first and most popular peer-to-peer -peer decentralized file sharing protocols. BitTorrent was initially released in 2001 and is described by Tron's founder as the genesis of the decentralized movement. Tron also noted that BitTorrent was once transmitting 40% of daily internet traffic. Although details of the acquisition were not made completely public, reports suggest that BitTorrent was purchased for somewhere around $126 million in cash. With the acquisition, Tron was able to inherit BitTorrent's claimed 100 million users around the world. Tron has not been without a few controversies, however. In 2019, Tron's CTO left the company citing excessive centralization. He believed that there was a significant deviation from decentralized projects and stated that the delegated proof-of-stake mechanism that Tron utilizes is pseudo-decentralized. The argument was made that the top 27 super-representative nodes have more than 170 million Tronix votes. Most of those, it was argued, were controlled by Tron and that only a handful of nodes controlled more than 90% of the votes on Tron. Also in 2019, it was reported that a single computer could have brought down Tron's entire network. As it was explained, a single machine could have sent a distributed denial of service attack to all, or at least 51% of super representative nodes. Doing so could have left the network unusable or unavailable. Luckily, the bug was flagged by a researcher and patched by Tron before any malicious activity took place. For his or her efforts, the researcher was awarded $1,500. Another controversy involved what some believe to be forgery in Tron's protocols. The claim is that Tron utilized multiple protocols from various sources to build its own but failed to reference them in its white paper. In response, Tron pointed to confusion arising from bad translations. It was explained that the original Chinese version of the white paper included the pertinent details, although some pointed out issues in the Chinese version as well. Despite these few controversies, Tron has held strong and remains to be a popular investment for creators, consumers and investors. And that's all that we have for today's video. Hopefully you were able to get a good understanding of Tron, some of its unique features and advantages, and its aim to return power back to content creators. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining and we'll catch you in the next video.